giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Good evening, everybody in the fun universe, and welcome to the show where the tea is sweeter and the bots are harder than the Florida sun. It's the Week 2 Southeast Sweet Tea Region Recap Show. Now to introduce ourselves, my name is John. Huh? My name is Kristen. I'm Brian. And I'm Griffin. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, we're about to give you a rundown of the events that took course over the week two here in the southeastern region of the U.S. Then we'll follow that up with a little bit of discussion and previews for next week, and then finish things off with the FRC Top 10 Southeast Edition for week two, as voted by the community in the FRC Top 25 poll. But before we get into all of that, Rev Robotics has given us a little special giveaway for this show, a Neo 550 for our live viewers. So let's have our producer, Tyler, tell you guys a little bit about that. Yeah, guys, if you're watching uh, the Southeast region, you got the jackpot this week uh, out of them. Some great stuff. If you're watching live, by the way, Rev's taking over uh, all the ones here on Monday. So make sure you uh, uh, stick around for other great giveaways. But yes, the uh, Neo 550. Uh, here's what Rev wants you to know about. Uh, the brushless revolution is here. And looking at you know the Neo 550, the Spark Max motor controller, Neo brush motor all this stuff coming together is a motor performance package that will get you that blue banner well possibly in a small and mighty package all together so go check them out at rev robotics and we got a great link in chat if you want to learn more about the products that they're offering so we'll be drawn for that later on don't forget subs get five times luck help fun stay live live independent good luck and enjoy the sweet tea region recap well, to kick things off, I took a trip with my team up to Carpet Country for this week's Petrie District <laughs> Dalton event. And for those of you who don't know, that just is a thing we call Dalton area because there's a lot of carpet <laughs> carpet and flooring businesses in that area of the state. Um, this was the first event for most of the teams, but several stood out right from the start. 4910 East Cobb Robotics debuted a very strong trench shooter robot equipped with a trench run auto and a dual hook climbing system, as you can see on the screen here now. 2974 Walton Robotics came out with a short robot as well that was shooting hot right from the start. And then 1771 North Gwinnett Robotics also had a solid short robot with some solid shooting and a dual arm hook climbing system. There were a few other solid teams as well with consistent climbs like 1311 Cal Robotics and 7451 Avenger Robotics. But even with all the strong capability of those teams, my team, Making Magic, was able to seed number one at the end of the qualification rounds. Thanks to a simple autumn auto and the only functioning Skywalker system on a climber at the event. And of course, you can't get it by without a little bit of good luck. As we had the first choice, we selected 4910 East Cobb Robotics with our first selection and 3851 Fink Robotics with both a high goal shot auto and a climber for our second pick, which is absolutely nutty that we were able to get that at the last overall pick. Our alliance only faced a few issues in quarters and semis and were able to make a triple climb happen multiple times in the semis, even in semifinal two, when my team's intake had an unplanned, unscheduled disassembly as a result of a flyer impact. Moving on to the finals, we faced off against the number two seed alliance of 1771 North Gwinnett, 2974 Walton, and 3329 the Wild Bots. When the finals began, the problems for the number one seed alliance seemed to spiral out of hand. 1102 shooter seemed for some reason to be strangely off target, and its autonomous went off course as well. 4910 was able to keep things close 
initially, but were in, eventually unable to keep up with both 2974 and 1771's barrage of high goal power fork shots. Blue took the first match with a commanding 70 plus tele power cell points. The second match, 1102 shooter, was fixed again, but Autonomous didn't go to plan again. This time, not only did 1102's Autonomous not shoot on target, but 4910 did some victory spins and both robots collided into each other. And it seemed to be from an unexplained failure due to a high speed collision they took in an earlier match. Then the match looked close at first. 1771 suddenly started rocking like a horse and knocked themselves out when their bumper fell off early in the round. Intentionally or not, they died right in front of the blue loading station. Thus, all of the balls returning to the field from the Red Lions' overload of the power port were now trapped behind 1771 in the safe zone. As the match continued, 2974 was able to pull a little bit ahead thanks to uh, some solid shooting. And both teams ended up double climbing. Unfortunately, though, Red Alliance was not able to overcome their issues, and the Blue Alliance took the finals with a sweep 2-0. to Congrats to 2974 on achieving a double gold cling bling with their Chairman's Award win and 7514 EVE Robotics, a second-year team on their Engineering Inspiration Award win, and 8050 Nova Robotics on their Rookie All-Star win. I can't wait to see how things turn out in Carrollton with those these, when we see these teams and some other really good ones again, it's sure to be a spectacle prior to the district champs. So, how are things up in North Carolina, Kristen? Let's just say Pembroke wound up being significantly more competitive than anticipated as 29 teams flocked up to UNCP this weekend. Much like Wake last week, the rankings at the end of the qualification matches were all over the place, with historically less competitive teams clinching the top spots and historically powerful teams ranking lower once the, day, once the dust settled. Second year team 7443 over Hills Jaguars dominated first most of the event thanks to their consistent auto and climber, but were dethroned at the last minute by one, uh, 1225 Gorillas, also ranking high because of their climber, which worked every match uh, in qualifications. That's when things started to get spicy. Gorillas first asked 5th ranked 1533 to join their alliance, but they declined and opted to start their own team. Scorch number one. Then they invited third ranked 4534, whom also opted to start their own alliance, Scorch number two. Finally, they asked 2682 and had their first confirmed partner. Second ranked 7443 paired up with 435 Robodogs. And uh, to no one's surprise, 1533 picked up 2655. On the eighth alliance pick, FRC history was made as far as I'm aware anyway. And an out of state team, 4541 Cabineers, declined an invitation to compete in the eliminations, opting to forfeit and let an NC team compete in their place rather than take away points from the district. On the way back up, 1533 and 2655 Duo picked up 3661 for their strong defense showing in their last Qualls match, making them one of only two alliances with just one climbing robot and the only one that made it past quarters. Quarters played out as expected with one through four advancing to semis. However, both semis rounds ended in upsets with four besting one and three besting two. Admittedly, the last semis match between one and four ended with an odd field glitch that was ultimately deemed not to have affected the outcome of the match. But I, among many others, would argue otherwise. Thus, the finals ended with Alliance four playing. The finals started with Alliance four playing Alliance three. The two captains that had declined the first seed in the first place. In the, in the end, solid defense from 3661, whom I thought was the best de dedicated defense spot at this event, uh, and fast cycling from 1533 and 2655, ultimately won the event, making this the fourth event won by the 1533-2655 duo. That puts them on the heels of team-ups like eight, uh, 118 and 148, or 33 and 469. Congrats to Team 8030 East Lincoln uh, East Lincoln Iron Saints on their Rookie All Star Award. Uh, 6729 Rob Kobots for EI and 3737 on Chairman's. How are things down in Richmond? All right, coming up, coming to the Rivers, River City was 36 teams competing in the Chesapeake District Richmond event. 72 qualification matches were played with no Level Three shields achieved, but several Climb RPs achieved. 
Throughout the event, the robot sitting at the top was 1086 Blue Cheese, with a fast cycler that could outscore many teams. However, they were they weren't able to secure the number one seed, as that went to 2106 Junkyard Dogs with their consistent turret shots and climb to boot. After getting declined by 1086, 2106 went with their first pick to be perennial powerhouse 1610 Blackwater Robotics. They rounded their alliance out with 1123 aim robotics the number one seed had very tough competition in their quarters having to face the eight seed of 401 copperhead robotics 2998 viking bots and 6334 illuminati who all decided to finally start working properly after many technical issues during the quals the first match went to the eight seed with a score of 199 to 185 in the second match, the number one seed switched their hyper offense strategy to send 1123 to play defense against the eight seed, which gave them the win for match two. For match three, 6334 was jumping in and out of connection with the field, preventing them from shooting their consistent auto, giving the win to the number one seed. In the semis, the number one seed handedly defeated the five seed at 1262 the Stags, 384 Sparky, and 7429 Convergence, advancing them to the semis. Uh, on the other side of the bracket was 1086, who picked up consistent shooter and climber 5804 Torch and solid climber 1522 Defenders of the Multiverse. They easily defeated the number seven seed and moved on to the semis to face the third seed of 1599 Circuitry, 1895 Lambda Core, and 4286 Imperial Robotics. This was a tough matchup for the two seed, as they won the first match by one ball and one penalty, but then lost in the second round. In the third match, the three seed missed their consistent triple climb, sending the two seed to the finals. With one versus two, things were looking to be a showdown. In the first match, the, the one seed was ahead in auto, but the two seed played aggressive defense and retook the lead, giving them the win for the match. In the second match, 1522 tipped over in the rendezvous, giving 2106 and 1610 free reign of shooting, giving them the win. In the tiebreaker, the teams were neck and neck, with the one seed taking a massive lead in teleop. However, both 1610 and 1123 got stuck on balls, meaning that they missed their climb, and the two and the two seed triple climbed, giving them the match and the event win. Congrats to congrats on the win to team 1086, 5804, and 1522 specifically for their first blue banner win since 2011. Congrats also to team 540 Talon on EI and 1086 Blue Cheese on uh, Chairman's for their double gold cling bling. Now, I heard some interesting stuff happened up in Bethesda. Brian, what do you think? So, in Chesapeake District Bethesda event, there were 35 teams competing this past weekend. We had 87 matches played with an event high score of 162 and an average score of about 80 points. There were no Stage 3 completions, but a few matches were able to achieve the climb RP with ease. This event had a constant top eight rank change all the way up through the last qualification match of the event. However, when the dust finally settled the number one seed with an 11-1-0 record with a 2.08 ranking point average was Team 2421 RTR Team Robotics. The second pick winners of Haymarket last week. They had, a, they had a fun run going through quals here, getting a lot of information about possible partners to join their side. From what seems as what would be a surprise, 2421 picked the seventh ranked team, Triple Eight Robotiators, to join their alliance along with the 23rd ranked team, 6213 Team Quantum, who going into quarters had some technical problems. Their number one seed had to call in the backup robot of the 15th ranked team, 7886 Cadet Robot Robotics. This alliance stayed all together throughout the rest of playoffs, having a pretty easy run all the way up into the finals. In the number two, uh, in the number two seed was the spectacle of the event in 1885 Eyelight Robotics, who picked up their old friends and winning partners for the uh, this event from last year. For 49 Blair Robot Project and rounded out the alliance with the rookie team 8217 Generals Robotics. However, as a surprise to everyone, they struggled in quarterfinals against the seventh seed. The number seven alliance of teams 611 Saxons, 2912 Panther Robotics, and 3793 Cyber Titans had a rock, had a somewhat rocky. Uh, looking quarterfinals, barely making it out and needing their triple climb that they were able to achieve very well 
uh, to get them out and into semis. However, in semis, they had a fantastic showing, putting up 150 to 100 points and 153 to 96, respectively, in their matches using that triple hang. And that launched them right into the finals matches. The finals here at Bethesda had a strong showing. We head into the finals with the undefeated number one alliance and a high scoring, heavy hitting number seven alliance. Both alliances zoom into auto, scoring some points and a close matchup of 47 41 coming out of auto. They each send a robot to the other side to play defense and the score going back and forth. In the end, only one team uh, for blue counts for climbing with two robots falling off, but the seventh seed wins the first match with 103 to 105, a real nail-biter match there in Bethesda. Going into finals two, the number one seed is looking to take back a win to force the rubber match. Once again, zooming out of auto, both both alliances for the seventh, for both alliances, but the seventh seed trips up a bit here. They go into Teleop sending defense robots to both sides. However, this is too much power for them to take for the low goal scoring seventh seed alliance where they get outscored. The end game also is a big loss, and the number one seed alliance takes them to a rubber match, 131 to 100. Here we are at the last match of Bethesda. Number one alliance looking to take it all the way, and number seven alliance looking to take the win away. A perfect auto for the number one seed, with shots missing for the number seven alliance. Auto heavily in favor with the for the red alliance. At this point, the number seven alliance just goes into full defense, looking to possibly heavily outscoring the end game this is too much for the blue alliance though and the red alliance has a commanding lead in the end uh in the end game blue is not able to complete their signature triple hang and the red alliance takes it with a balanced double hang 151 to 92 congrats to the red alliance of 24 21 rtr team robotics 88 triple eight robotiators and 78 86 cadet robotics Alongside them, getting some nice hardware, Team 8217 Generals Robotics winning the Rookie All-Star Award, Team 449 The Blair Robot Project taking away EI, and 1885 Eyelight Robotics taking home the District Chairman's Award, their 14th Chairman's Banner in their 15-year lifespan. This makes 2421 the first team in, in the district to join Double Winner Club for 2020. Next, we're going to count down the FRC Top 10 as voted by the community this week in the FRC Top 25 poll. Please remember to vote if you believe a team should be considered. Starting at number 10, we have 5804 Torch from Henrico, Hove, Virginia, winners at Richmond. Number 9, 2655, the Flying Platypi from Greensboro, North Carolina, winners at Pembroke. At number 8, we have 2106, the Junkyard Dogs from Goochland, Virginia, Finalists at Richmond. At number seven, 1885, Eyelight Robotics from Haymarket, Virginia, ranked two and chairmans at Bethesda. Number six, 1533, Triple Strains from Greensboro, North Carolina, winners at UNC Pembroke. At number five, North Gwinnett Robotics from Suwannee, Georgia, winners at Dalton. At number four, 1102, Making Magic from Augusta, Georgia, finalists at Dalton. At number three, 4910 East Cobb Robotics from Marietta, Georgia, and finalists at Dalton. Number two, 2974 Walton Robotics from Marietta, Georgia, winners and chairmans at Dalton. And number one this week for Southeast, we have 1086 Blue Cheese from Glen Allen, Virginia, winners and chairmans award winners at Richmond. All right, now we're going to go right into preview. So, Kristen, how are things looking? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, right before we go into previews, I wanted to go ahead and get started with the giveaway for the uh, Rev Robotics 550 uh, motor. So, Tyler, why don't you get us going with that? Yep. Uh, real quick, guys, since we're running short on time, uh, 550 brushless motor is up for grabs. All you got to do to type in is... Uh, Neo 550. Neo 550, just like that. Look at somebody guessed that right. Good job. So <laughs> finally, the chat guesses what the keyword is ahead of time. <laughs> Holy crap. So uh, go ahead and do that. Subs get five times luck. Help us stay a lot of independent with that free subscription or for just a few bucks a month. And we'll draw in just a couple minutes. Preview uh, going into the week three event for North Carolina. We'll be going down to ECU. 
you're looking at your top home teams, your 2642 and 2682, Pitt Pirates and Boneyard, both coming off of successful first and second events, respectively. 900 will also be heading down to ECU for their first event, so we'll see Marshall, our friend Marshall Fred there. <laughs> 3737 coming off of their uh, first or their uh, their event here this weekend in at UNC Pembroke will also be going to uh, ECU. Also keep an eye out for 6908 infused. We've got two rookies going down to ECU 8304. This will be their second event after competing this weekend at UNC Pembroke and 8205 their first event for the season. Down at the Peachtree Columbus event, we've got the hometown team, your 4188 Columbus Space Program, who are probably not only looking to take home another blue banner for winning an event, but I have a feeling that they're the top contender for chairmen's at their event, just like they were last year. Uh, other contenders to look out for at Columbus, 4949, 4941, Robo Bib, 4509, Mechanical Bulls, and 5109, the Gladiators. Maybe we see a little redemption for 6829, Ignite Robotics, and you never know what you're going to get out of 2415 with the Westminster Wildcats. All right, all right so Donna. So coming up to Portsmouth, it from the looks of it, the front runners are going to be 2363 Triple Helix, 1610 Blackwater Robotics, 2106 Junker Dogs, and 623 Cougar Robotics. All finalists of the first two events uh, or first few events of the district. Then other top contenders are 2655 uh, Flying Platypie, who are visiting up from North Carolina. Then 5546 Art, who was a top four captain at Haymarket. And then 6334 Illuminati, who is actually looking to poise or what they normally or looking to repeat what they normally do at this event and show up compared to their last event. <laughs> uh, and then uh, some for, some robots we're going to see for the first time that are possible ones to look out for are 3258 Mad Dogs, 3939 uh, for, or Botachot 4H Robotics and 5724 Spartan Robotics. Going a little bit further north is the CHS Owings Mills event. The front runners are 88 Robotiators, the Bethesda winners, 2534 Lumberjack Robotics, who did a great good showing, and 7770 Infinite Voltage, who also did a good show, showing at Bethesda. Other contenders include 1727 Rex, who was probably one of the strongest shooters at Haymarket, 4541's Cavaneers, the uh, famous people who just did a out of district decline and forfeit. And 614 Nighthawks, another like across the field shooter who showed well, and 3793 Cyber Titans. And some first sees or first showings we will see for this event are 4638 Jagbots, uh, 1629 Garrett Coalition, 20, and 2377 C Company. So the uh, Orlando Regional, we're heading down south to Florida's first showing here. We're going to see a lot of teams showing up. Uh, we have Team 48, Team Elite, coming down from Ohio, despite not making it to a limbs uh, last year at Champs. 48 is coming off a three regional, three regional win season, and they're looking to show what they have. Um, among the locals, we have four favorites. Uh, team 179, the Children of the Swamp. Team 180, Spam. Team 233, the Pink Team. And 386, Team Voltage. Uh, the latter three haven't yet to publicly unveil their creations yet, uh, but it, but they all have field machines that are uh, competitive, as of recent history would suggest. 179's re robot was revealed and in a controversial trailer, um, but they're a tall robot who's able to collapse their towel down on, to go under the to go under the control panel. And a trip to Einstein last year uh, expect 179 to attempt to dominate early. Um, biggest surprises will be our rookies here, our Team 8104 Squidworks Robotics and Team 8324 Team Miko. Both rookies have knowledgeable group that uh, have both have knowledgeable groups that help them lead this this year. Um, both are short robots. Uh, Miko is a really well made um, every bot, and going into a final pair who may be able to disrupt the core. Our team 1902 Exploding Bacon and team 2383 Ninjaneers. 1902 is the newest member of Hall of Fame and looking to break their six-year regional winning drought. 
uh, with a tall robot that can do all aspects of the game, while 2383 iteration seems to be where they're looking to find success already going through several designs that ha- may have found their way of being a winning design heading into Orlando. Thanks, Brian. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Tyler, why don't you tell us who's the lucky winner of that Neo 550? Yep, and once again, the keyword was Neo 550 for the giveaway. Thanks again to Red Robotics. If you're watching live, stick around. Lots more giveaways to do, and our winner is going to be uh, Derpasaurus Rex. Why not? <laughs> so, uh, I'll give it. That's that's a great screen name. So congratulations to Derpasaurus Rex. Please make sure you reach out to us on uh, Discord or on uh, here on Twitch. Guys, we're shipping you something. First name, last name, mailing information, all that stuff. We need that if we want something to ship to you. Just FYI for other people who have already asked me tonight. All righty, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. And don't forget, fun needs your help to stay loud, live, and independent. Please consider giving us your support by joining Fun Nation with a subscription or bits right here on Twitch. Or becoming a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. Or just letting people know that in first that this is the place to be to get information that your team needs. Don't forget to check us out on Discord, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here, right now, live on Twitch. If you're watching live, our next show is going to be Mouth of the South. On behalf of Kristen, Griffin, Brian, myself, and of course, our producer, Tyler, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and thanks to all our moderators in the chat. Talk to you next week on the FRC Southeast Sweet Tea Region Recap. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.